How's it going, YouTube? Uh, my name is X9. My name is actually Chris, but I go by X9 here on YouTube. I would like to show you my uh, homemade e-cig slash mod, whatever you want to call it. It is a parquet spray butter bottle. Yeah, special, isn't it? Well, I, I uh, was making a different one, just using like a regular project box, but I broke my only project box and. Didn't feel like going out and buying a new one, and so I decided to to do this. And you know what? It's pretty original, I must say, for myself. And yes, it does fire. Let's see here. I don't know how well you can see that on camera, but it definitely works. And, uh, you know, it, it's strange, I know, but I love it. And it's got 510 or Ego style cone threading. And one of my favorite features about it is this. Oh, just a normal spray bottle except for the giant stupid button hanging out the side. I was going to use a different button, I was going to use this one right here. It would have looked a lot better, but this is uh, opposite polling of this one. So this one is uh, it's on until you press a button, it's off. So if I were to hook it up, then my atomizer would constantly be firing, and uh, until I press the button. And obviously, you don't want that. So I had to find a different button, and all I had in my parts bin was this thing. <laughs> But hey, it it's a monstrosity. It adds to it. it. Makes it even cooler. I wish I could just add like another button over here. You know what? I bet I could add a second button. That way it's just Frankenstein, you know, giant bolt hanging out the side. Squeeze down, fire. But that would be uncomfortable, so I'm going to leave it like this. <laughs> you know, it, it actually looks more like a bong than anything, I will admit. But let's get on to the insides, I guess. <sighs> For the uh, the uh, atomizer attachment part, I can't think of the name of it, the 510 connector. Uh, I just took it off of an old Ego, knockoff Ego battery, uh, or an Ego style battery. And then uh, took it off there and put it on here, rewired it with much thicker gauge wire. That way I could fire it on the lower ohms and it would handle the amps better and so of course you can put an EVOD tank on here I'm sure if I had a blue or yellow EVOD tank of this two colors yeah, one of these two colors would look really cool black might look alright with the button but it uh, it doesn't matter it really doesn't but the insides yeah I should probably get on with what I was saying it takes an 18650 battery and that's a homemade battery clip I can pull this out but I prefer not to because it's still in prototype stage and the connections are all wonky. Uh, but yeah, it takes an 18650. All I have is an e fest in there right now. And, uh, you know, it, it works and everything. But, oh, but the battery clip, uh, it's hard to find battery clips for this, especially in town. <laughs> I don't think any place would sell an 18650 battery clip in town. And so I, I decided I'd make my own. I have this moldable plastic stuff I ordered off of Amazon a couple years ago. And I haven't really had a, a use for it. And I was walking around my house trying to find what I would use for battery clip. Couldn't find anything. I mean, I, I completely disassembled uh, like a regular AA battery clip. Cut it in half. I was like, well, maybe it will work. But obviously, no. It wasn't going to. And so, I then saw my moldable plastic and had the brilliant idea of uh, using it. Basically, with the moldable plastic, you put it in warm water. It comes in these small, like, white pellets about the size of BBs. And uh, you take those and you throw them in some water, some hot water, about 140, 150 degrees. And then uh, they'll turn clear and then you can mold it into whatever you want. And I, I laid it down on some wax paper. You know, I heat up the plastic, laid it down on some wax paper, folded it over, 
and then shove my battery onto there to give it the shape. And uh, then I drilled holes into the top and bottom of the plastic and then uh, hooked up some connectors. I'm kind of embarrassed as to what I'm using for connectors. I wish I was using, you know, silver or something really nice. But I used paper clips. Just took some paper clips, sanded them down. They work. Hey, you know, they, they, they work fine. It's hard to solder to them. That's, that's why you have to sand them down, but it, it works. And then, uh,. Yeah, I mean, it. it's hitting. It's definitely not going to hit as hard as, you know, like a Nemesis or something along those lines. Hell, a K100 probably hits harder than uh, this, but it's a novelty item. It's not supposed to hit really well. It's supposed to, you know, be an attention getter. And, you know, of course, there's only one of a kind here. You know, I think I'm going to engrave a, a serial number to the bottom. You know, put like 0001 or something. Oh wait, it's already got a serial number. Wait, no it doesn't. It says SIO? Zero IS? I, I don't know. But, anyways, you know, let's take a bait. Uh, it works! And, uh, I'm kinda proud of it. So, yeah, that's my homemade e-cig slash mod that's pretty hideous but at the same time you gotta respect the art of mod building you guys have a good day and uh... see you in the next video